This morning, by the special grace of God, we are looking at a topic titled The Unshakable Truth. The Unshakable Truth. The Unshakable Truth. Quickly open your Bible with me as we look at Isaiah 44. The book of Isaiah 44. We are looking at verse 6. The unshakable truth. Isaiah 44, verse 6. I'm sure you are there now. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6. The Bible says, Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first. And I am the last. Beside me, there is no God. Thus said the Lord, King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first. And I am the last. Beside me, there is no God. Take note of that place. Let's look at Exodus 15. Exodus 15. Exodus 15. Beloved, are you there? Exodus chapter 15. We are looking at verse 11. Verse 11. The Bible says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in prison, doing wonders. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, amongst the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in prison, doing wonders? Take note of that place. Take note of that place. The unshakable truth. Let us look at Second Chronicles. Please. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter twenty nine. In Chronicle Kaji, Ori Kokondini Ogun. The Bible says in verse eleven. Ni esse Kokondari. It says. My sons, be not now negligent. Having showed you something about the Lord God Almighty Himself in the first two scriptures that you have read, He's now telling us here, He said, My sons, and including daughters as well, be not now negligent. For the Lord has chosen you to stand before Him and to serve Him. And you shall minister unto him 
and born insects. Beloved, we live in a world where things are changing and shaking. All of us who have been hearing about natural disasters ravaging every part of the world. We have been hearing about earthquakes and floods and avalanches all shaking the world. But beloved, who would have thought the kind of revelation, I mean the kind of revolution that swept through the Middle East the kind of revelation that has been revolution that has been on city rulers that had held on unto power for so long in America, in Europe and even in Africa leaders are battling with serious economical problems America, Europe and Beloved, the world is changing, the world is shaking. Beloved, we can see various types of institutions that are now seriously under demonic attack. Families are crumbling. Marriages are collapsing. Governments are falling apart. Beloved, that there are some truths that remain unshakable. Despite all the things that are shaking around us. What are these truths? Number one. The Almighty God is immortal. The Almighty God is immortal. That is the first unshakable truth. Everything has a beginning. And everything that has a beginning must have an end. The Almighty God, the one you are serving, the one I am serving, he has no beginning, he has no end. Heaven and earth will pass away. Our God remains the same. The Almighty God, He is the everlasting God. And so He is immortal. As human beings, we are mortal. And physically, we must surely die. Except if the trumpet sounds and we are raptured and we are taken away from this earth. But the Almighty cannot die. Either physically or spiritually. The Almighty is the living and the everlasting God. Beloved, we are talking about the Almighty God that is immortal. Job declares. Job, okay, there. He said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. The Almighty God is immortal. He has power over death. He has power to bring back to life anything that is dead. I mean anything. He is the resurrection. He is the life. That is why it is not difficult for the Almighty to call back to life any good thing that is dead in the life of a man. Beloved, this morning, I am praying for somebody here. Any good thing that is dead in your career, any good thing that is dead in your business, any good thing that is dead in your marriage. Any good thing that is dead in the life of your children. By the power of 
power that raised up Jesus Christ from death. This morning, I command those good things to come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. Let them come alive in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God is immortal. That is the first truth that is unshakable. The second truth that is unshakable. The Almighty is omnipotent. The Almighty is omnipotent. Our God is the Almighty because He has all the power. Psalm 62 verse 11 says God has spoken once twice have I heard him that power belongs unto God. Beloved, our God is awesome. Our God is powerful. His power is unlimited. His power is supreme. His power is able to subdue all things. His power is the source of our strength. His power is infinite. His power controls all nations. He walks on the water by his miracle power. He parted the Red Sea by his limitless power. The power of the Egyptian, of the Egyptian magician. They bowed before the power of our God the Almighty. And when the Egyptian magicians, when they saw what was happening, they confess openly that this definitely must be the finger of God. I am praying for somebody here this morning. By the power of the Almighty God, every boasting power against your life, every boasting power against your business, every boasting power against your health, every boasting power against your moving to the next level, Shall be the greatest man that ever lived. There shall be the greatest. 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 In the name of Jesus. Beloved, by his power, he turned the arrogant, proud king Nebuchadnezzar to an animal. For seven years, until he repented and bowed before the Almighty God, acknowledging that he is the omnipotent God. Beloved, I am saying all of these things this morning. Because I don't know what you are passing through or what you are going through. But take note of this unshakable truth. The Almighty God you are serving, when you look at His bigness, when you, when you understand the truth about His, 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 his power, and this unshakable truth we are going through, then we know that whatever you are passing through, you will come out victorious. I say you will come out victorious. You will come out victorious. In the name of Jesus, the 
power of the Almighty is unimaginable. And there is nothing impossible for him. Nothing. 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 nothing impossible for him. God will use his own strong power to destroy the wicked. By power, he can lift up the beggar from the dung and make him to sit down with the princess. That is the Almighty. I am praying for somebody here this morning. Every problem that is making you to run Esther's character, every problem that is making you to be confused, every problem that is facing you and you think you have no God, this morning, this morning, they shall bow before you. 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 Real pick up the candaya. They shall bow before you in the name of Jesus. That is the second unshakable truth. The third unshakable truth. The Almighty is the Omniscient. Hmm. The Omniscient. Beloved, our God has all the knowledge in heaven and on earth. Nobody can teach him. Because he is the source of all knowledge. In fact, his knowledge you cannot even improve on it. There is nothing he should know that he has not known already. Let me tell you something. He is aware of of what you are passing through. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows what you are experiencing. But there is a share of gold. A share of gold. A share of gold. What you will sit on. A share. Having passed through all that you are passing through, there is a place he wants you to occupy. You will get there in the name of Jesus. I say you will get there in the name of Jesus. I say you will get there in the name of Jesus. I say you will get there in the name of Jesus. The Almighty is omniscient. Beloved, knowledge starts and ends with Him. All these engineers you are looking at, the philosophers, the philosophers you are looking at, the lawyers, the medical doctors, even all the renowned men of God, the wisdom they are using is from God. Beloved, he knows the best in every situation. In, in most cases, beloved, his counsel, his instructions, his directions may appear foolish to man. But beloved, the end always proves that God is the wisest. That is the third truth. That is unshakable. The fourth truth that is unshakable is that the Almighty is omnipresent. Our God has unique attributes that no creature has. He is in Nigeria. He is in the United States of America. He is in the UK. And at the same time, he is in every country of the world. Nothing can be hidden from him. Whether inside the ocean, whether on top of the mountain, whether in the forest, whether under the earth, whether in the firmament, whether in heaven, 
nothing is hidden from him. All the secret enemies that are planning evil is looking at them, watching them. I am praying for somebody here this morning. Every power of darkness, every power of darkness, hidden somewhere secretly, planning evil for your destiny. Because you are here this morning, they shall be let forth and disgrace. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 23 verse 24 says, He says, Can anything hide himself in city places that I should not see him? Fear the Lord. Can any hide himself in city places that I should not see him? Fear the Lord. He now asks another, another question. Do not I feel heaven and earth? Fear the Lord. Beloved, God does not have to chase anyone before he catches the fellow. The Bible says, His eyes run to and fro throughout the whole earth. God sees everything. God is everywhere at all times. Anywhere your enemies are, no, trying to harm you, thinking that we will not see them. Holding secret meetings against your progress. I say again, they shall be exposed. They shall be exposed. And they shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. That is the fourth truth about God. The unshakable truth about Him. Number five. The Almighty God is a military God. The Almighty is a military God. The Bible says, The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, verse 42, verse 13, that the Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like man of war. He shall cry, he shall prevail against his enemies. Beloved, as a military god, our God rules by decrees and expects his commands to be totally obeyed. Regardless of age, regardless of gender, regardless of race, regardless of color, once he gives a decree, once he commands, he expects those decrees to be carried out totally. Our God is so rigid that he has no respect for anybody. Except those that obey, 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 obey him completely. Take for instance the man called Uza. He touched the ark of God. Innocently. With the aim of preventing the ark of the Lord falling down. Because he did not belong to the tribe that should touch that ark of God. The anger of a military God kindled against him. He was smitten dead immediately. Beloved, I am saying this to let you know that God does not joke with his decrees. <laughs> and that is why I'm warning the enemies this morning that it 
it is dangerous to touch and try the, the side of God. Because the Almighty Himself has decreed that touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. When the army of Pharaoh, when they were pursuing the children of God, God thank them indirectly. I am praying for somebody here this morning. Every stubborn pursuer, every wicked power that has made it their business to be pursuing you, to be pursuing your husband, to be pursuing your wife, to be pursuing your children, every evil power that has decided not to sleep day and night pursuing you this morning, they shall be buried alive. 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 In the name of Jesus. The sixth truth that is unshakable oh, has to do with the supreme, supremacy of the Almighty. The supremacy of the Almighty is absolute. When I check the meaning of, uh, of supreme in the dictionary, it means the highest in rank. The, the highest in position. It defines it as the greatest in degree. Beloved, no God was formed before the Almighty. Neither shall, be, shall there be any other apart from Him. He said, besides me, there is no savior. Beloved, he has the final authority. No one can deliver from his hand. The Almighty is supreme because he was never created. But he created all things. Our God, he is the uncreated, self-existing, the Almighty God. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Beloved, if we should begin to analyze that sentence, it is loaded with meaning. Loaded with meaning. This means that God has been existing before the beginning. He predates the beginning. This is a mystery, beloved, that nobody can unravel. He has no beginning. Take note of this very well. The Almighty God, He has no beginning. Because the beginning began with Him. He has no beginning. Because the beginning began with Him. He has no end. Because He outlives the end. Beloved, the Almighty, He is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the ending. The Almighty. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. But our God has no beginning, so He has no end. He is unimpeachable. Um, you can't impeachable. He is unquestionable. Because no one is above Him. He does things in His own way. You, you cannot rush Him. 
You can't rush him. He does things at his own time. The delay you think you are experiencing. No, he has to do his own thing at his own time. And his own time is always the best for your destiny. The Almighty, he may decide to lift up one person. He may decide to put another down. The Almighty, he can, because of a tree, kill another tree. Nobody can query him. Nobody can question him. If he has decided to promote you, there is no power from your father's house that can stop him. Beloved, he made Joseph. Is Joseph ready to bow down before him? The Almighty. He had mercy on Peter. He had mercy on Peter. But he did not have mercy on Judas Iscariot. That is the Almighty. He knows. And he sees all things. Everywhere at the same time. Both in heaven and on earth. Beloved, he can use anybody. He can do anything to prove a point. And that is why I'm praying for somebody this morning. God has a point to prove in your life in the name of Jesus. They think that you are not making it. They think that you are not making progress. They think that you have not gotten a good job. They think that you have not gotten married. God has a point of proof in your life. By the time you are going to come out, you shall be shining like God in the name of Jesus. Beloved, our God is supreme. And you cannot query his wisdom. You, you, you cannot get angry with him. If you, if you do, then you are inviting more troubles upon troubles. Our God Almighty, He can do without anybody. That you and I, we cannot do without Him. Look at the Almighty God. He created a non-existing position for David, for, me, for, for, for Joseph. The Prime Minister in the land of Egypt. There was a position like that. But he himself created that position and put Joseph in that position. I am praying for somebody here this morning. The position the Lord God Almighty has prepared for you, the position that he wants to take you to, any power that wants to prevent you from getting there, Shada! 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 In the name of Jesus! Real pick up of this area. Beloved, he is so supreme that he can do all things. Especially for man that has been written off. That they said this one cannot do anything again. He can do all things. Anything written as impossible as God can make it possible. That is why we are saying that our God can reverse the irreversible. The Almighty God. The seventh truth which I want to take note. The Almighty is sovereign. The Almighty is sovereign. 
have heard that he is supreme. Beloved, he is also sovereign. No wonder our God is referred to as the King of Kings. No matter how powerful a king is on this earth, whether king or governor or president in this world, his sphere of influence his fear of authority and power will be limited to his domain. Will be limited to the town in which he is ruling or reigning. Will be limited to the village where he is heading. Will be limited to the state or the country to where he is ruling. Take for instance, as powerful as the president of USA is. He cannot decide to come and rule Nigeria. His power is limited to, to, to U.S. But beloved, this is not with our God. The Almighty, the fear of His influence, the fear of his control, the, the fear of his power and authority, the fear of his dominion is limitless. He created everything. He has control over everything. His commandment has no territorial limitation and is applicable all over the world. Because of his sovereignty, beloved, he cannot be dethroned. Lucifer tried this and has been doomed forever because of that. The Bible says there is no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel against the law. He reigns forever. 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 He is our God forever. Beloved, in conclusion, as we have looked at this unshakable truth, and at the same time, look at the instability in the world. Instability in economy, instability in rulership, instability in everything. Instability in world government. This message by the power of the Holy Spirit is to make us to be encouraged. And Put our trust in the Almighty God. Who cannot be shaken? Beloved, our God is unshakable. Our God is unchangeable. Our God is unmovable. The invisible God that we have, He knows no impossibility. And that is why I know your own case shall not be impossible for God. In the name of Jesus. What are the things you need to do, beloved, this morning? For you to be able to key into this truth and reap all the benefits attached to this unshakable truth about God. You must be born again. That is number one. Without that, you cannot get any benefit from the Almighty God. Number two, you must have complete trust in Him. Number three, always and always let your mouth be filled with His praise. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. The unshakable truth about God. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. 
All eyes closed. All eyes closed. You want to benefit from the unshakable truth you have heard this morning. You must surrender your life to the Lord. That is the first truth. You have to surrender your life to the Lord. You must receive Jesus Christ into your life as your personal Lord and Savior. Without this, you will just be trodden the whole heart without anything, any good thing to show. You can even be wealthy and have the money. But you will know that something is still missing in your life. And that is Jesus Christ. All eyes closed. I don't want you to be ashamed. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? You want to receive him as your personal and Savior? Just raise up your hand where you are. And I'm going to pray for you. Raise up your hand where you are. You want to receive him as your personal and Savior? So that he can begin to walk that unshakable truth in your life. I want you to raise her up your hand. And I'm going to pray for you now. Yes, I am waiting. I'm waiting. Yes, I can see one hand down there. I'm still waiting. Yes, I'm waiting. You want to receive Jesus Christ as a pastor and a savior? Raise up your hand and I will pray for you now. Raise up your hand and I will pray for you. Yes, I can see the other ones at the other side. I can see those ones at the back there. Those that raise up their hands, I want you to just begin to confess your sins before the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Tell the Lord that you are sorry. Ask Him to forgive you. Ask Him to forgive you. And then begin to invite Him into your life. Yes, I can see those hands. Begin to invite Jesus Christ into your life. Ask Him to come into your life. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want you to say this after me. Those that are raising up their hands, say, Lord Jesus, I come before you this morning. Forgive me my sins. Say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry for whatsoever sins I've committed. This morning, forgive me. Have mercy upon me. Say, Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. Come into my life. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Father, I pray for this one. This one that's raised up their hands now before you. Whatsoever sins they have committed, Lord, forgive them their sins. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, let those sins be wiped off. Remove their name from the book of death. Write their names in the book of life. The power to go and see no more. Let this power come upon their lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to raise up your right hand into the heavens. I'm talking to everybody now. We have spoken about the unshakable truth about God the Almighty. And he walks by decree. He walks by decree. And he said, he said, open your mouth wide. That is, ask for anything. And I will fulfill it. You are going to cry to God. So every impossibility in my life. Say that, beloved, let me hear you. Say with confidence, beloved. By the power that created heaven and earth, become possible in the name of Jesus. Become possible. Become possible. Become possible. Become possible. Become possible. 
become possible in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are going to pray. And I want you to pray with everything you have within you. Pray like this. Say, any evil altar program for my destruction. Dear beloved, let me hear you. Say that with confidence. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Any evil altar program for my destruction program for the destruction of my business program for the destruction of my career program for the destruction of my children scatter 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 in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, this next prayer, don't joke with it at all. Don't joke with it at all. Don't joke with it at all. Especially there is a brother. Your case is so, is, is, is so pitiful. Because for you to go out, you have to remove your clothes, wash the clothes, and let the clothes dry. You now wear it before you can go out. But if you can pray this prayer very well, with everything you have within you, you will experience 24 hours breakthrough. You are going to pray like this. Say, every power sponsoring wickedness against my destiny. In the name of Jesus, every power Sponsoring wickedness. Sponsoring backwardness. Sponsoring poverty. Sponsoring poverty. Sponsoring stagnancy. Against my destiny. Against my life. Die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Aha. Aha. Something has to happen. Something must happen. Enough is enough. 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 How can you be living from hand to mouth? How can you have to wash your clothes and wait for it to dry before you can go out? These are coming from the power of sponsoring poverty in your life. Command them to die. 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 Aha. 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 Mazeke poprike pori mazikandaya. Ria pika in the Sunday area. Ye pika posi kanda ya masende kapori. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Aha. 
Jesus. 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 Oh, this is the power of, look at it, look at it, look at the power of God there. Makapopi keposi kandaya. Zepi keporiya mazakandaya. Makapopi keposi de yamoria. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I decree upon your life any power that has vowed that you will not move to your next level. Any power that has vowed that you will be coming to them to beg for bread. I command that power now be buried alive. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. Ben. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to pray like this again. Say, every satanic gang against my promotion. Beloved, this is this prayer is for somebody. And you already know yourself. You already know yourself. I don't have to describe you. You already know yourself. Every satanic gang against my promotion. In the name of Jesus. Oh, this is wonderful. 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 Mazika Pori Masikandaya. Maka Pobrike Posikandaya Mozendekeria. Zetrike Poria. Zika Handaya. Masika Pobria Mazandayarimo. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is time for you to move to your next level. It is time. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, as we are moving to this October, receive your promotion. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every delay you have been experiencing in your marital life. Every delay you have been experiencing in your marital life. Wrong people coming, wrong people coming, wrong people coming. As we move into this October, your story must change. 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 For the best, your story must change. For the best, your story must change. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Now this is a decree. A decree. A decree. A decree that is going to bring out 24 hour breakthroughs. 36 hour breakthroughs. 72 hours breakthroughs. You are going to cry to God like this. Say, my father. Make a way for me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, make a way. 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 Aha! 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I decree upon your life. The enemy thought that they have boxed you to a corner. And they are rejoicing. Because you are here today. Where there is no way, as you move into this month, that way shall be open unto you. It 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 shall be open unto you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, you are going to pray like this. Say, the anointing of favor. My life is available. Enter. In the name of Jesus. Enter in the name of Jesus. Enter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.